Uh, hello and welcome to episode two of WRP TV, brought to you by We Are Polymer, and I'm your host, Gary Reed, and I'm joined today by Head of Performance, Jen Grant, and PPC Director, Lucy McNeil. And today we're going to look at how you can use competitors and what they might and might not be doing on Amazon to gain new customers for yourself. Um, so we've got a page here that we've got open, which is, I've done a search for Benefit Cosmetics, and as you can see, we're sort of above the fold. We've got this um, sponsored brand ad by Aborian, and then we have two adverts by Julep and Grand Cosmetics before you see the um, actual organic listings for Benefit. And one of the reasons I wanted the guys to talk about this is because there was a, a study or some research done by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission in the US, which was looking at whether Amazon was doing anything right or wrong with its advertising that found that 47 clicks for every 47 clicks there is on an advert there's only one click on an organic listing on Amazon which means that 98 percent of clicks are going on ads on Amazon so if you don't have an ad you're getting very small share of um of the clicks anyway um Lucy over to you sure yeah so I think yeah exactly as Gary said competitive or competitive bidding on Amazon can be a really effective way for particularly kind of smaller brands and lesser known brands um, as a way of gaining awareness, but also kind of driving sales from, you know, in market audiences by essentially piggybacking on the kind of well-known brands that people are searching for, but who aren't investing in kind of paid ads across Amazon. Um, it basically allows you to get your ads in front of kind of relevant audiences um, and kind of take advantage, I guess, of where um, your competitors are kind of lacking Amazon coverage uh, to be able to kind of gain that traffic um, and get customers through. Um, I think, yeah, as this example shows, um, people that are searching for uh, benefit will be able to clearly see um, some other businesses showing essentially ahead of of the organic ads um, and hopefully kind of get those clicks through to either the brand store page um, in the case of the the brands, uh, sorry, the sponsor brand ad at the top um, or through to specific products um, as the ones are shown below. Um, I think it it is one that's, um, you know, an interesting strategy um, to be able to use and it would depend definitely on kind of the budget availability um, for the advertiser, um, as well as the kind of competitiveness of the offering. So as you can see in the sponsored products examples, the, the ads that are showing are ones where there's a lot of reviews. So the first one there, 43 or almost 44,000 reviews that that product has. So it's kind of a really competitive ad to be showing um, and obviously yeah, you're then more likely to get that click um, for people to be able to actually purchase your product um, because the the kind of product listing you're showing is of higher quality um, rather than having, you know, an ad that just has one review or perhaps isn't very price competitive. Uh, that's going to be a less effective strategy to be then bidding on competitive terms um, across relevant yeah, that 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 makes sense. I mean, if you were if if your products were forty fifty pounds against benefits at sort of seventeen fifteen pounds, you probably wouldn't get much traction, I guess, uh, on the, if that's what people were looking for. So that's a really good point. Um, and Jen, one of the other things that that uh, we were talking about is actually just bidding on some of those sort of top products in in cosmetics. And I know you sort of highlighted. Um, this particular product here. Do you want to explain a bit more about that? Yeah, so I think as we saw in the last screenshot, we, we saw that there were both sort of sponsored brand ads and sponsored product ads. Um, but what we kind of didn't discuss was the actual strategy behind, you know, how are those band, brands actually bidding to get their products in those placements? So we clearly think it's some sort of competitor bidding. Um, but is that sort of bidding on competitor keywords? Is that bidding on sort of um, competitor categories? Because um, if anyone's registered in the brand registry, 
you should be able to select that brand as a category to bid on, which could be one of the methods that one of those brands is using. Um, or it could be to actually be bidding on specific competitor ASINs. Um, so in this example, Gary, if you can scroll down towards the bottom of the page, um, it is possible on every sort of product page to see uh, how you rank. So there we've got the best sellers rank. And if you click on those links, we can see we're 200, 228 ranked in beauty for this product. And here you can see all of the products that are included within those rankings. So this could just be a good way to kind of discover new competitor products, you know, which ones are are priced competitively with you um, that you may decide that you want to bid on in your uh, Amazon ads campaigns. And in this way, what you might find is, you know, if someone's searching on Amazon, they're not 100% sure what they're going to buy yet, but they're maybe searching across a few of these different products. If you can bid on this product as an ASIM within your campaigns in a sponsored product campaign, you may be eligible to appear on that actual product details page when someone's searching for a product. So again, it's just a way to kind of take advantage of perhaps a, a more well-known brand or something that's got a similar price point to yours um, and kind of steal some of that traffic uh, away from your competitors. Yeah, that's really interesting, actually, a really, really sort of good approach. I mean, I, I think, you know, and like you, like you said, Lucy, it's probably not, not for everyone, not for every product, but there is definitely a place um, in when you're looking at an overall strategy, whether this is something you want to do and actually just how easy it is to find out what that, what the, the best sellers are in a category as well and, and see where someone is. So that's, you know, so easy to do and so simple to sort of put that together. Um, so I think that's, that's it for today. We just want to cover that really quickly and uh, how that is. And if you do need any help with your Amazon store and, and putting that together and running some ads, then please get in touch. Our email address is hello at wrp.team. Um, and that's it from us today. Thanks for listening. Bye. Thanks.